welcome students myself ahirrao ve from department of instrumentation and control engineering maratha vidya prasarak samajas karmavir advocate baburao ganpatrao thakre college of engineering nasik here we are going to cover the topic inspection the different objectives of inspection principles the standards and the qualities of inspector objective to learn the concept of inspection objectives of inspection standards and qualities of inspector needed outcome students will be able to summarize the concepts of inspection and qualities of inspector inspection in industries inspection plays an important role it can be stated as function to judge the quality of the manufactured product or the service checking of the product characteristics for the specified limits of variability it may be the checking acceptability of the product and verifying the quality of raw materials first we will go for the various advantages of inspection separation of defective components to ensure the adequate quality of the products it detects the defects in raw materials and in the processes inspection or quality inspection prevents further work being done that is either repair or the rework it assures the functionality of the product by quality inspection the quality in design can be analyzed quality inspection increases the reputation of the organization and the last but most important it will increase the customer satisfaction principles underlying inspection for maximum efficiency the inspection must be independent but it should coordinate with the functions of production planning and sales department improvement in quality performance is achieved as a result of changes in engineering specifications or the manufacturing techniques and not by inspection methods methods of inspection in general there are three main methods of inspection but depending upon the complexity of the product the critical features or characteristics involved in manufacturing the three methods are first the inward inspection the second is in process inspection and 
the third is final inspection now inward inspection means whenever the raw materials are being purchased and received then the inward inspection may take place when the manufacturing operations or different processes are going on at intermediate stages you may go for the inspection which is known as the in process inspection when the product is manufactured or its manufacturing is complete then usually we are going for the final inspection the inspection status should be accompanied with the product while the product passes through the different inspection stages usually on the final product or the finished product when it passes through the final inspection stage we observe the tested okay stickers or qc okay stickers on the system but when the manufacturing is going on then the product itself may carry a tag on which the different stages of inspection may do the entry or even if some problems are being observed then these may get mentioned so that when the product passes to the next stage then this should get identified easily now the different standards of inspection are inspection standards for raw materials usually these are as per the specifications either these specifications may be given by the manufacturer or when some non standard parts needs to be manufactured then the design department may give these specifications inspection standards for work in process usually it is relating to the physical conditions properties of materials or the features of product next dimensions the degree of finish the functionality or the performance of the product sometimes the working inspection standards are useful for example go no go technique means you have to either accept the product or some of the features or you have to reject the product next is the inspection standards for the finished products usually in the form of the design output a document may get circulated with reference to which we can go for the inspection of the finished products in few cases we may have to adopt and use the inspection standards for the completed mechanisms here we will learn what are the different qualities those should be possessed by the inspector 
the first is responsible inspector himself or herself should be responsible to do the work of inspection next inspector should have the sound technical knowledge in relation with the product skills should be possessed by inspector so that very easily he or she can go for inspection next inspector should have patience because in case of some of the products or raw materials inspection may take somewhat longer time inspector should know or should be aware of the statistical process control that is spc techniques time and cost consciousness should be present inspector should minimize and prevent the wastage usually when the inspector has to carry out the inspection for which the supporting materials are needed or if they have to carry out some kind of destructive testing and next is the quality standards references two books we may refer for the topic inspection the objectives of inspection the principles underlying in the inspection the different standards and the qualities of inspector needed the first book is industrial organization and engineering economic by bang sharma and the second is industrial engineering and management by op khanna thank you